Hey guys and gals, Malkuth 1974 back at you with another tutorial for Kerbal Space Program 1.0. This time we're going to Minmus. And I'm going to teach you how to go to Minmus a lot quicker than the last video. So all I want to show you is that research is exactly the same. I have not researched anything new, so you're all set there. I have upgraded every single building in here. The most important buildings you have to upgrade are mission control and your tracking center. That will give you what we need in this mission, and that is your uh, maneuver nodes and your conics. So one mistake I made in the vessel the last time we did, it's the same vessel. If you noticed it, you called me on it, good for you. The science stuff should actually be something that we return to Kerbin. The way we had the vessel last time, that was not the case. So we're going to make this just a slight adjustment. We're going to add a actual heat shield to the bottom of it, just in case uh, those cargo bays are not as resilient as our pod. And that's all we're going to do. So now when we separate the last separatron there, not the separatron, but the separator, uh, we're going to lose everything below that. And everything above it, including the pod and the science, we're going to land with back on curb, and that way we get to keep all our science. So Minmus, getting to Minmus is actually the same way as getting to the moon. All you have to do is target Minmus. That's important on this one. We didn't have to do it with the moon because it's not that important. But Minmus you want to see because it's very hard to see. It's very small. So I want to make sure that I can see it, and I'm going to set this up to make sure it's right on the horizon again, just kind of below it. And if you kind of look over there, you can't actually see it. It's very hard to see anyway. It's just like a little dot, a little bright dot, if you can, if you actually notice it ever. So here we go again. We're launching. I am not going to get into how to launch a vessel, how to get to orbit. You guys should know this by now if you're trying to get to Minmus. If not, you can go check out my how to get to orbit video, how to orbit Kerbin, get to space, then orbit. Kerbin, keep saying that. I kind of make it all quick. So anyway, we are doing a straight launch to Minmus again, just like we did with the moon, flying straight towards it. If you kind of take a look over here in a second, if I uh, if I do this real quick, uh, you actually be able to see Minmus in a second. It's very bright dot. If I actually show it here, I thought I did show it. I am doing this post production. Oh yeah, there it is. Can you see it? You see it's just a little bit of a twinkling star that is Minmus. Anyway, I am doing this post production, so everything you're seeing has been sped up just to speed the video up. We've seen it a thousand times. Maybe some of the new guys haven't, but this is how it's going to work. We are burning straight to Minmus. We are keeping our that prograde marker lined up with our target reticle, and we are. We're not stopping. We're just keeping the engines going. We're staging the engines when we have to stage them. Everything is going the way, the same way as the moon. Now, if we look here, I am actually going to slow down a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to get that periapsis right under the ring of the orbit of Minmus, just right under it. And if you look at Minmus, Minmus is actually at an inclination. Now, this is the extra step that we have to make. Now, I am setting, I'm going to set a maneuver node on the DN, the descending node. You can actually see it. It looks just like this. If you have this set up the same way, it looks like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my orbit up to meet Minmus, and that is the little red top thing. So if you look, and I'm doing some extra adjustments here to get a little bit better of a thing, but if you raise it straight up, you'll go right into an, uh, an basically a SOI of uh, Minmus, and that's what you want. Now, if you want to if you want to mess around with a maneuver node like I am a little bit to get a little bit closer to Minmus, you know, for you not using as much energy and all that stuff, that will be great. One extra thing I should mention is that if you want to take a few of the fuel tanks off from this vessel when you launch it, that is a okay. It does not take, believe it or not, as much fuel to do a trip to Minmus and back as it does to the moon. That is because the moon has a higher gravity than Minmus and you'll use a lot less fuel on the Minmus landing part and the taking off part. Getting there costs a little bit more, but the actual landing and taking off is very, very cheap. It has hardly any gravity at all on Minmus, unlike the moon, which has tons of gravity, which unfortunately you have to fight and you have to uh, go against when taking off and landing. So all I'm doing is setting up a basic intercept and then this, I am messing with the thing. I kind of want to be in a certain position because where I want to land, you can do the same thing if you want. Again, this is all on the descending node. The descending node is basically where 
my understanding of it is where your point of reference and the other body's point of reference meet and that is where you can uh, what I mean by that is that where their orbits or their inclination meets is kind of how I'm trying to explain it but probably not very well so anyway basic intercept I'm doing some fast forwards here uh, getting into orbit I'm going to do some adjustments to get uh, my periapsis closer to Minmus than uh, like just like we did with uh, the moon you see right here I'm at 405 thousand meters so I do want that closer I kind of want it to be around you know 50 to 70 meters again like I did with the moon again if you want to see how I did the moon landing video you just have to go back and check that video out they're all together packaged together in a nice little neat little package for you guys so what I'm doing right here is I'm just kind of messing around with which of these nodes in my nav ball is the one I need to move and the way I test it, and it's probably not the most sane way of testing it, but I don't have any worries about fuel because I know I have so much fuel that I can do this wrong about 500 times, is that I go to a node and see what it, and I just turn my engine on just a tad, just a little bit, and see how, what is changing in the periapsis. And if, there we go, now I know it's the right one. I'm going to get my minimus periapsis down to, what did I go to here? Usually I go... Sometimes I, I, I go a little bit above because sometimes you don't burn exactly correctly when you actually try to get into an orbit of Minmus. Because, of course, we still have to do that. And so I'll set that up. I'm going to just keep using these maneuver nodes. This is the first time you guys seen me use them in 1.0, I think, on in the tutorials. Because it's the first time I actually had them. So there you go. Now I have a maneuver, a maneuver node set up. And that's interesting. Another cool feature of 1.0 is that you can actually left click on a spot in that blue line anywhere and I'm going to show you right now what I'm going to do and it's right there and you can go warp here and your vessel will automatically warp to that spot now obviously you don't want to warp right to the uh, actual maneuver node because you actually have to burn a little bit yeah, we, well, I'll get into maneuver nodes more detailed a little bit later but that's a cool little function you just left click and same idea as you know targeting something or adding your own node uh, you, you now have the ability to warp to a certain uh, sector so here we go I am actually uh, burning to get into orbit of Minmus and there we go now we're in orbit pretty cool same thing look how much fuel we have it's about the same if you notice what we have now for Minmus and what we had for the moon is about the same now I'm gonna break a cardinal rule here only because I know I have enough fuel, but I'm going to stage this and get rid of it. And because I know there's plenty of fuel here to, for me to land once, you know. But, you know, the point of landing on Minmus is to get as much science as you can. So this vessel, I guarantee you could probably land four or five different places on Minmus and grab all of the science that you could want and then bring it back and do this. But we're not going to get into all that stuff. We're just going to land and do that. So I'm just, here we go. I'm just setting up another, uh, a maneuver node to actually set my set my landing up just like on the moon we didn't have the maneuver node we were actually using the actual live uh, nodes the blue nodes we're just going to use the maneuver node we're going to get close we're going to do our burn that it's spe specifying us to do and I'm going to point to where I want to land I'm you always you always kind of you know it's like shooting a gun I don't know how many of you have actually shot a gun but if you're shooting a gun and something, you know, something bird or whatever you're shooting at or clay pigeon or whatever, you always lead it. It's the same idea. You want to lead where you want to land in these examples because the rotation of the planet is going to change. And uh, when you start burning, you're going to actually lose some of that. So just remember that. Also, in this example, I'm going to show you a suicide burn just because I can and it's very easy to do on Minmus more forgiving than ever I just waited till I got to about 4,000 feet 4,000 meters I must say and I just started burning or actually I'm gonna start burning well, when do I actually do it no I actually wait till 1,000 meters that's right so if you can see we're doing about 132 31 34 yeah so here we go now we're burning we're coming down pretty quick this is what this is this is a safe suicide burn. I burn way too early. Most people that do suicide burns, 
they almost hit the ground before they actually slow down to zero MS. But in this case, I'm trying to keep you guys safe, you know. We don't all want you to die on your first trip. There we go. I I fixed that horizontal creep that I talked about in the moon. Basically that prograde marker is giving you your horizontal speed. And if it moves away a little bit, that means you're kind of moving a little bit you're moving horizontally and that is not good for landing. So there we go. We are landed. And I'm going to I'm going to get rid of all that stuff. That was uh all of the science stuff. I'm going to do a bunch of science stuff. We didn't I didn't show this in the moon um video cuz I was trying to save time. And plus I couldn't EVA and at, at that point. So now we're just going to EVA, we're going to do our soil samples and we're going to do our EVA reports. We're going to grab everything we can. Going to even plant a flag. The flag is our hero. Now, if you have any contracts, make sure you grab any contracts that want you to go to Minmus, planting flags, getting science, anything like that. Grab everything you can before you do these types of missions. That way you, you're gaining extra science and you're gaining, of course, the most important thing, which is funds in the campaign game and how to make money. I haven't really been showing that to you guys because that's not what the video is about, but keep that in mind. So there we go. I'm going to open one of my first goo container. I'm going to do it on the ground. My second goo container, I'm going to do it while I'm in orbit. Grab that, and we're all set. We're going to take off here in a second. It's the basic same principle as taking off on the moon. We are going to burn to a 90 degree angle. Or do I flip it this time? Nope, I do 90 degree. That's fine. That is fine. Doesn't matter as long as you're... You want to sort of keep your... You want to keep on an equatorial plane with the body that you're on. In this case, Minmus is a little bit more difficult to get to Kerbin just because it's at a angle. You know, it's it's not at a exact equatorial angle towards uh towards Kerbin. But the same principles apply that I taught you in the moon. If you want to get back to Kerbin, you have to burn while you are your vessel is basically I guess a better explanation would be your vessel is sandwiched in between the body you're on and the body you want to go and then you burn away for your apoapsis is actually going away from the body that you want and you can do it in one burn and I can actually show you guys how this works this time of course with Minmus it's a little bit different and we actually have to get into orbit before I actually show you that. So here we go. We'll get into orbit of uh, Minmus again. And then we'll get into the whole basics of how all that works. Big hoopla on the forums for 1.02 going on right now. A lot of people do not like the 1.02 aerodynamics. They think they got broken. I don't really mind them because they're... I'm like been playing FAR for over a year. FAR, if you're wondering, is Ferrum Aerospace. That is a mod that added uh, aerodynamics long before all this. So there you go. If we look, I set that maneuver node just like I set up on the moon. And if you see right now, it's a little more difficult because we're at an angle. So I have to do a few extra adjustments to uh, actually make it reach uh, Kerbin. And... I'm also I'm also being kind of nitpicky, and I kind of want to come in at a uh, equatorial entrance to Kerbin. I don't want to come over the poles or anything like that. But it's the same principle. You just kind of mess with all these maneuver nodes. You got your retrogrades, your prograde,s uh, your ascending node, your descending node, uh, the up and down, and you can get you can do one burn to re-enter Kerbin without any issues. A little bit easier on. Um, the moon because all you have to do is go prograde the whole way and it will get you there when you're on minmus you have to do some fine attunements with some of the other nodes to get it set up again i'm looking for a 12,000 meter entry into uh, uh kerbin you're going to enter a lot more hot into kerbin going from minmus than the moon so it probably is a good idea to throw one of those wonderful 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 re-entry shields onto your vessel just in case that by the time you see this vessel we're not at like 1.2 where all the re-entry re heating has been fixed and re-entering Kerbin from Minmus would be deadly without the shield so I'll just throw it on there and be safe 
I'm doing the rest of the science on my vessel, can't forget that. I'm going to EVA Valentina here and do an EVA report. Get all the science you can when you're on Minmus on the first time. This vessel could have stayed for another four trips, four landings. Trust me, different biomes give you um, all the stuff that you need. So we are going to set up here for our burn and... There we go. Now I have more control of it now that I can see everything. See how much more easy it is having uh, that ability to see your maneuver nodes, see your conics, see when everything's changing. And that is only the first upgrade on uh, Mission Controller and uh, the towers there or the, the communication center or why can't I think of the word right now because I need to and I don't want to redo this video. So uh, yeah, so here we go. We're re-entering. I am also going to show you that even though I fear this thing turning over, I am going to be brave and I'm going to shut the SAS off and I'm going to show you that this vessel is perfectly balanced. It will not flip over. The heat shield will take all of the re-entry heating and it will stay the way it's supposed to be staying. That is the blunt end facing the way you want. You can see we're actually burning off some of our blader there. That's pretty interesting. I heard through the forums that that was not working. I don't know why it's working on my version, but whatever. And I and this is 1.02. I have not been messing with anything. I haven't I haven't gone back to 1.0. I'm staying with 1.02. There we go. Putting the parachutes out. It's very important with 1.02 that you do not open those parachutes too quick, or they will either burn up or break. I guess under 250, you will be safe. So there we go. That is how you get to Minmus. So as always, guys, this is Malkuth, 1974. Thanks for watching, and I hope you get to Minmus real quick. I hope you guys have fun, and I hope these videos help you out. And if they do help you out, hit that like button and hit uh, get, make, make some comments. I like to hear the comments if you think uh, anything is that needs to be changed. I, mean, I had I had two people say that they don't like the music during the tutorial. So if you've noticed in the last two videos, I have gotten I. Just basically, it's the bare bones videos. There's no, there's no music. There's no. I'll, I'll save the music for the let's play stuff, and that's about it. So, as always, guys, that stuff helps me out. Have a great day, Malkuth.